In part two, we will look at the exit of the compressor through the diffuser access ports, and we will also review the combustion chamber inspection requirements. Just aft of the compressor is the diffuser. It has four boroscope plugs, giving access to the rear of the compressor exit guide vanes. You may have to remove some of the thermal blanket around the turbine to gain access to the ports. A 6mm flexible boroscope is used for this inspection. The 6mm flexible boroscope is the most commonly used because it has a good light source and being small enough to get into most areas. The smaller diameter scopes are great for getting into tight spots, but if used in a large area such as the combustion chamber, you will not be able to see very much until the tip is very close to the item. Any metal parts liberated from an earlier stage of compression or if some solid item enters the front of the turbine, it will pass through this last stage vein. If the part has enough mass, it will dislodge other parts of the blades and veins along the way. This can end up in what is known as corn cobbing. It is common when carrying out a quick inspection of the turbine to check this location as if anything seriously happened to any of the compressor blades, you will see some damage at this location. Combustion Chamber Moving back along the turbine, we have the combustion chamber. There are obvious differences between the standard combustion and Solenox combustion chambers. However, the general defects you will come across are similar. In fact, the type of issues discussed here are typical of any gas turbine. There are 14 Solenox injectors, or 21 standard injectors, fitted to the Mars. It is important that the injectors have their location marked when removing, to ensure they are placed in the same location. The condition of each injector needs to be documented for the report. The condition of the injectors will depend much on the cleanliness of the fuel used on site. If you are using liquid fuel, there should be ongoing control of the supply and storage of the fuel. Liquid fuel degrades the turbine hot section quicker than gas fuel. Contaminants in the fuel would be seen on the injector and the combustion chamber and hot section. These normally discolour the metal where it is deposited. If the fuel supply is coming from a wellhead or production area, you can get all sorts of contamination in your fuel. Pipeline gas, for example, is ideal, but not always available. Because of the small diameter orifices in injectors, they often block up, especially Solenox injectors. This will have an effect on the flow to that injector, often supplying less fuel than the other injectors. If this condition is identified, you will need to clean or change the affected injectors. The T5 spread profile will change and is the primary indicator of injector problems. We will discuss this shortly. A common problem with gas fuel is sulphur in the fuel. This can be very difficult to remove as it often passes through filters before coming out of the gas as the gas expands entering the combustion chamber. This deposit of sulphur can affect the movement of fuel valves. Sulphur, when mixed with other chemicals, can cause hot corrosion, which will be discussed later. Removal of the injectors is the primary access to carry out a boroscope inspection of the combustion chamber and first stage nozzle guide vanes. There are also four boroscope plugs that can be removed 
from the combustion casing. These can be used for a preliminary inspection if need be, but the main inspection is through the injector mounting location. Access to the combustion chamber. We will normally access the combustion chamber via the fuel injectors. Here we see a diagram of one of the guide tube field tools that are used to guide the borescope right to the first stage nozzle guide vanes. 